let's look at the construction of a translation using a compass and straight edge. Now, in this case, the, uh, the translation vector is connected to A, which is actually quite nice because it tells you where A prime will land. Sometimes that vector might be not directly on the shape like that, but this is definitely a nice start for us. It says we want to translate triangle ABC by vector A, A prime. So we know where A prime goes. We're just going to find B and we've got to find C. Uh, translation does two things. It, it, it translates a fixed distance and a fixed direction. So let's start with distance. So we know that uh, A traveled, so I'm going to mark A to A prime. That's how far A traveled. So to be a translation, B would have to travel the same distance. So I'm going to make an arc. I don't know exactly. I know it's got to come down somewhere here, so I'll make a mark an arc there, and C's got to come down uh, that same distance and in the same direction. I don't know exactly, again, where it will land, but I know it's got to slide this way. So what, these two arcs represent the distances. Now the second thing is to bring the angles and everything parallel along with it. So remember, a translation is an isometric mapping. And so the distance from A to B has to be the same as A prime to B prime. So this is actually quite easy. You just place on A and measure to B. And then run down to A prime and make an arc. And this has got to be B prime. To see that, that suits both characteristics. The distance had to be on that arc. And this arc means it has to be that far from A. You can do the same thing. Let's reference from A to C. That distance is a fixed distance, and when you're done translating, it would have to be that far away as well. And so this would be C prime. Let's pull out our straight edge and connect the dots. Connect those vertices. And it will create a triangle that is congruent or uh, to the original because of the isometric nature of our translation. Beautiful. All right. Um, I don't know. This is the same thing. Maybe we'll just do it uh, quickly here one more time. Again, here's our fixed distance. A to A prime. C's got to go that far. B's got to go that far. So I mark the distances first. And then I can reference everything from A prime. So A to B, that distance has to be the same as A to B prime. So I know where B prime is. And then A to C. And A to C prime. And then again, I'm able to close this out using my segments here form the triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime. Maybe on this one I'll just stop and just talk briefly again about what actually is taking place here. Um, what's beautiful about this is if I connect C to C prime and B to B prime, we get uh, parallel lines, of course we get that because they are a vector. We get parallel lines uh, going between the original and its images. So these are parallel. There it is. That's awesome. And then my arrow heads four here and four here, I guess. Look at all that good stuff. Parallel lines, uh, we get uh, congruence between the original and the image. We get an isometric mapping. Beautiful stuff. Good luck.